Let's have this estimating sample size. And this is our first problem. Everybody read, go. Okay, very good. Sanibasa. Now, uh, the question here is how large is a sample necessary if you want to have a 99% confidence level and it is accurate within one year and the standard deviation, population standard deviation is three years. So this problem is under this um, topic, sample size for estimating the population mean. And this is the equation. So you have n equals z sub alpha over 2 times the um, population standard deviation all over the maximum allowable error squared. And we need this table. So, pwede ninyo ni take note ng table. So, to solve for this z, to identify the value of our z, we need a confidence level. And based on the problem, we have 99% confident. So, we will select this 99% and the z here. So, yung mo siyang intersect perpendicular or yung siyang sugatun. So, you have 2.58. Thus, our value is 2.58 times our population standard deviation is 3 all over the maximum allowable error is 1. So, within accurate within 1 year. Squared. Use your calculator or pwede ragid magmano-mano. So, you have 59.9. And remember, rounding up to the next integer, it will become 60. So, 60 di ay ato ang uh, sample. So, therefore, to be 99% confident that the estimate is within one year of true mean age, the president needs a sample size of at least 60 students. Nga no at least man? Because, unlike sa ato naandan sa math, na exact jud siya, like 50 kilometer, 50 kilometer good siya. But in this case, since this is sample size, the larger the sample, the more representative it is in our population. So, mura ra siya limit ba? So, mingkag 60, okay ra. 61, okay ra. 65, okay ra. 70, okay ra. 100, okay ra. So, yung ana siya class. So, the limit is 60 student that is, uh, that will represent the population. But it, it, but it doesn't mean nga exactly good nga 60 jud inyo hang kuan. Pwede ra jud siya 60 pataas. Okay? Now, uh, for the purpose of checking, 60 lang jud akong check ka, no, ana. And, um, ato lang na siyang ikuan sa button. So, class, how will you know that this formula ang yung gamiton? So, you will um, evaluate the problem itself. It's given and it's unknown. Okay, so we will have our second problem in our next video.